on seeing every bus. It's great. Maybe if we got more than one token per boss. Never fear, only want to wait. Always spoiled. All right, who are we waiting on? Are you advanced to dual boxing raids now, Sizax? Uh, no. Oh, actually, shit. Uh, Res, Sizax won't be in here. Oh no. Uh, we can we can make do if it's really a problem. Well, Bubble, it's an ultra oh, boomer. Hey, what the hell, Bubble? He's like, guys, I'll be there. You bench GCD, I'll be there. He's like, you guys know I want to be on the PTR team, right? And we're like, okay, come on. Doesn't show up. It's like, no, oh, how do I do? Down this thing? Alright, these guys are kind of annoying. On a little bit from memory and a little bit from a spreadsheet. So the t two hate shriekers or hate screamers, they have a 30 yard silence. So we need to keep them the hell away from everything else. Um, I think we can probably get away with just having um, like having Mandalore take both of the hate shriekers where they are. The big guy cleaves and the little guys charge so kind of stack the two little guys kill them we'll kill them first i guess see how this goes our only unit tonight is time and learning we have to learn this eventually, so any time we spend tonight is time saved on launch day. Okay. All right, who are we waiting on? Killer and Lexi are in chat. Anyang is coming, but we'll be a little late, so you only have to bolt up a duty for a little bit, Rez. <clears throat> uh oh. What got Rez? Oh, fish. I jumped off the edge because I was antsy. That was amazing. It was, yeah. I saw the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got, I got you. Miller said he was having technical issues. And Lexi's not responding, so let's go ahead and get this rolling. What are tank assignments? Uh, let's have Mandalore do... I mean, we can do different marks later. I just don't have my regular marking stuff. Um, Mandalore do the two hate screamers down where they are. We'll pull the other guys up to us. Um, pavilion tank the beast tamer away from like us, because he'll cleave. And GCD tank the two little spore bats. We can we can basically stack on the spore bats. So I'm okay. gonna park park the beast tamer kind of off to the side. And the, the biggest thing is those the the female naga have a 30 yard AOE silence. So if they get into healers, we're we're dead. Can I get a four buff, please? 
Well, let's get this going so we get a little more time on bosses. Um, all right, I'm going to do a pull timer. So can you uh, MD the big guy to pavilion? I think the rest should be OK. Yep. All right, let's give this a go. I hope you got Five, DBM because I just did a full four, timer. Uh, three, just my DBM didn't two, work. One. Oops, I didn't do any yet. Uh, don't. See if we don't have to sheep anything. Okay. We can sheep if we need to. Actually, just for, for science booty, once you try to throw a sheep on a hate screamer. Do we want do, we, do you want both of them down or, or just one? I'll uh, just try one of them for now to see what's up. Okay, I'll, I'll get moon. All right, pull in five. Four, three, two, one. Keep the Naga, the little Nagas, far uh, away from us. Yep, yep. Hold the rest up the ramp. They up are the ramp, up the ramp, up the ramp. Try the spore bats. Just see if they can be. I know they can't be when they're uh, enraged, but. Okay, um, probably need the beast tamer a little further up so we're not getting the silence. I... Are you getting it there, Pavilion? You okay? Healers and casters are going to want to max range the these Naga here. Yeah, they're tunnable. Wow. Well. <laughs> I mean... You want to eat it, I guess. not just be needing willy-nilly on items, even though it doesn't really matter, guys. <laughs> Make me master loot and uh, fun, fun, fun run. Would any of the tanks actually use that? Uh, I probably wouldn't yet, no. It would be our luck to get a like epic trash drop on the first pull of the first pack. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, fat boy at the far edge of his patrol. Um, he AOEs a lot. Face him away. Do you want him? Sure. Trying to remember exactly what this guy does. Looks like he is taunting you. Oh yeah, there it is. It does these bounces when it gets dispelled, right? Uh, I just quick. grabbed pavilion and it didn't go anywhere. Maybe it's a limit though. If you what cast you another one, me? don't dispel it. I uh, just dispelled one of your diseases. Oh. Yeah, it's jumping. Yeah. Now that one's that one's just an AOE, isn't it? Are you talking about the quake or something else? Something else. It's like this it's uh, disease. Yeah, it's a disease that has like a one second duration on somebody. Okay. Initial infection. Yeah. Alright, that kind of worked okay last time. I guess we'll do the same thing again. 
Do you want Beast Tamer tanked on top of the Spore Bats, just faced away? Sure. Oh, I reset all my macro. Well, I know I did it. Never mind. All my targeting stuff is borked. Do you say you want me to try to sheep one of these? The the bats. Yeah, we've, we've been okay. I I don't think these ones are more like just like getting the pull and control right as opposed to like tank damage. But if it becomes a problem, we'll do something about it. Um, let's basically do the same thing we did with the first one. Tanks go in, MD, pull the little stuff back to us. Seven mana thistle off one body. Yeah. Bananas. Don't. Short, uh, yeah, short that's mana. Like, short that's like mana half my fucking mana. money, dude. I gotta fucking sell on mine. <laughs> we'll see if it keeps up. That was a fucking lot of thistle. Yeah. All right, All right ready? Yeah, let's do it. Three, two, oh. That's our kind of a Wow. Anybody actually gonna make those? Who wants them? It's actually pretty darn good. Oh fuck it, I'll take him. Actually make them for next week. You can buy primal nethers off the stuff the vendor for free. Alright, idle. Be my be my guinea pig and see if you can test the silence range on these. Dauntable. Alright, give the healers a How's, how's healing feeling here, guys? Is Pretty it... easy so far. Right. We're like plus one healer for usual, so... Good to know. I think we gotta wait for the Colossus to pat back. Rebuff. So... Six healers right now instead of our usual five. Alright, you grab, grab this fat boy. Jesus, Tuka, what are you doing to this guy? <laughs> detail, st detail still works. Yeah. Oh, thanks for the reminder. I was looking for, I was looking for that command earlier. Aha! Uh -huh. Thank you, knocked on MVP. Oh, uh... Ooh, poison, poison on the ground. Yeah, That's bad. Yeah. These right. guys are like the... The AQ trash, right? Where they have like some random abilities. I yeah, thought there was like the disease one. Okay, I thought they actually had different names, but I guess not. I guess not doing the quake was the dead giveaway. Yeah, booty! How fucking dare you die to test mechanics that we haven't ever seen before? I get shit from that guy. Yeah, so I guess it's not all uh, Mana Thistle Party.
Yeah, so there's acid, they do acid geyser, spore quake, nothing, blue mushrooms, or it can summon adds when they die. So there's lots of different flavors of these guys. What's the blue mushrooms of like the underwater? Those are actually good for us. They get heal right? us. Yeah, they heal Are us. They get nice. healing, healing mana. So the blue mushrooms are the good ones. All right, same drill with these guys. Oh, yeah, you're free consumes. No. My world buffs. All right. Uh, you can count down, Mandler. Yeah, right. Three, two, one. And I wish I, I wish we had this totem forest every time. Beautiful. Let me know if you're still getting cleaved, Sizax. I tried to drag this guy like through you, but still within cleave range. Uh no. Um, the the healers and the casters probably just want to be like in here on us, so that you don't get charged by the spore bats. They're dead now, but future range. I seem to recall stacking on the butt being the move there. I love how I feel like I'm getting hit harder in fucking heroics in my normal gear than I am in SSC in this gear. What? So, uh, what, what's the actual difference between your current gear and like what you got? Ah, uh, a lot. <laughs> Three pieces of tier, two trinkets, one ring, boots, bracers, and that. Yeah, You're a broke the... bitch. Sure. Yeah, not. Oh yeah, these are the free flasks. Flask market is fucked. This was yeah. Free Alchemist, Alchemist might want to uh, start unloading their inventory. You know what I'm saying? Free! Oh, your source of money. Dude, I might actually have to play the game to make gold. I wonder if they'll like pull it at the last minute. I doubt it. Are they the same as normal flasks, or are they stronger? No, they're the same. You can just you can only use them in raid, but that's the only place people use them. All right, everybody, kind of remember this fight. I have no idea how this works. All right, so he he switches back and forth between frost form and nature form. There's kind of like an invisible line down the middle of the room. So the way to switch him is you like you have to walk him over so mandalore will be in frost gear pavilion will be in nature gear sizax will have a little bit of both i'm gonna make them a janky group real quick so they can get uh totems and stuff one second i will i will fix the groups back up um so they need to have Frost Aura and Nature Resist Totem, or Nature Resist Aura from, we have still just do it. Um, that looks okay. Um, all right. So a couple things we're trying to figure out here, how much resist, or resist gear our tanks need, how the incoming damage is, um, get the tanks a feel for like where the line is. So the reason you can't just tank him in one forever is that he'll stack a debuff on you up like, it's like 25% damage, 50% damage, 100% damage. Then it's like 500% or something crazy. So you can only really take four of them. So when you get to four stacks, you gotta like run across the line. He'll switch forms. He'll spawn adds. Size X is tanking adds. We AOE down the adds. The other tank taunts and picks him up, and we do that until that tank gets four, and then goes back. He'll throw some debuffs out on the raid. If I remember, they're not too bad. Just people just need extra healing. Um, yeah, any quit? The transition, I believe, it's either a threat wipe or he's tauntable. I don't know what version we're going to get, so we'll have to see. So let's 
for the first couple of transitions, let's take it real chill on threat. Um, just to make sure and if we see the meet, if we see it resetting versus, um, uh, you know, versus like being tauntable, we can, we can deal with that. Um, okay. I don't want to talk too much. I want like the way we learn this is by doing. So let's do it. Let's get a look and then we will figure it out. Uh, man, or do you actually not have frost gear? If not, you can hearth and grab some. Yeah. Can I get a port? <laughs> Okay, yeah, there's a resist vendor. We, we will craft it between now and then. Obviously, we didn't want to like go and craft all of it before we knew exactly how much we needed. So go grab everything you can get off the vendor. We'll start high and then, you know, we can back it down if it's if it's too much or whatever. Yeah, I think it's like 285 is what you can get from the vendor in enchants. All right. I was so So, Druids, did you get your epic flight form? Blaine, well, you got your nature stuff, right? Fantastic. Yeah, you do. You look like a clown. Yeah, you look ridiculous. Now here's a question, Pavilion. Are you actually going to get Marshall's Bracers on live? Be honest. If you're trying to talk, Pavilion, we can't hear you. Oh, now, can you hear me? Yep. Uh, I was going to get the blue PvP gear, which is close enough. Yeah, right? Alright, you can throw me a summons whenever. Hey, back inside. I think take the... Oh, right, right. I can, uh... Take, yeah, the, the, take the port to SSC, and then zone in, and we'll summon you to us. There we go. I'm inside. You know what? On the, on the first... On the first transition, let's swap a little early just so you guys can figure out where the line is. So swap it like two or three debuffs. Uh, since size or since yeah, since size X will be wearing a little bit of both types of gear, should we have him pull and then let Mandalore see if it's tauntable off? And if not, size X can just sit there and let Mandalore get threat, just so that we know going into the phase transitions. I mean, we know. I'll let Mandalore go first. I believe the left side is Frost, I believe. Yeah, his back position is nature towards us as Frost. I yeah, I'm pretty sure. I thought that was backwards. I thought he was Frost when he was in the beams and nature when he's out at the beams. Yes, <laughs> fifteen years ago I'm not a hundred percent. We'll find out. We'll have Mandalore. I'm pretty sure it's like if he's closer to the left one. If he's closer to the left one, he's Frost. If he's closer to the right one, he's Nature. I think you bring him out towards us. I don't think yeah, it's left or right. Front and back. Yeah, I think okay. it's front and back. Yeah, the line is oh, near yeah, yeah, where that yeah. ramp is. Yeah, I'm yeah. turned around. You're right. It is, you're really, it is you're pulling him out of those beams is what's like really happening. They have a limited range. Did we want to throw a soul stone on anybody or no? No, just hold him for now. Okay, so where where he starts is water, so then pull, we pull him out to switch him. So, all right, Mandalore Pavilion, you guys good doing the right gear? Yep. Okay, Sills on nature, size X is on frost. Um, let's just like communicate a lot, and when we do the first swap, we will we'll do it a little bit early just to get a feel for where it is. And I believe Mandler's going to need to charge in just so he doesn't like run towards us and uh, immediately swap to nature. Okay, everybody run in. Here we go in three, two, one, science. Oh, size 
Yeah, because you left the news. Let's, we'll swap at, um, we will swap at three. Alright, Water Tomb is a stun, it's just damage on those people. Uh, I believe the Water Tomb is all targets in an 8 yard range of the initial person who gets hit, so I might want to spread out. That's what the range check is for? Yeah, range needs to spread out. Us tank damage healers. Pretty nice. Okay. Right, we're, we're gonna switch on the next mark then, so watch your dots. Okay. Mandalore and Pavilion are gonna move out away, like kind of towards the way we came in. He's gonna drop his aggro, he's gonna switch, there's gonna be a big explosion of ads, and you guys can be. Boss is not tauntable, so I'm go we're gonna have to watch threat on the switch. Okay. Ads are the first priority. Let's get them cleaned up and don't fucking pull aggro. Uh, Roy, go ahead and battle this turn just for fun. Alright, same thing, we're gonna swap with the 100% debuff. Once the next set of ads are down, we'll go ahead and arrow. It should be about two minutes lining up. Okay. 100% moving we're, the boss we're back. We're doing the switch. Watch your threat. Here he is. Frost phase ads. Oh god, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't fuck. <laughs> Guys, notice if he. If he if you pull aggro and you pull him over the line, it's double ads. Get them all grouped up. I'm dead. Uh, we have a lot of people who are going to be dead on the other boss. Leaders. If you can get out and reset, cool. Um, plan, on, plan on running back. Yeah. Do not pull aggro. Guys, we are, like, we're... We're totally fine on damage. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed that. Like, we basically just almost killed it without even, like, knowing what was going on. Don't pull aggro. The swaps and the ads are the whole fight. It's not a damn trace. I know, right. like, before we used to do it, we used to, like, stop all dots and stop all damage. I mean, I'm giving people, like, 10 seconds warning, and I still see incinerates fucking flying, so it's not a, uh... It's not a strategy problem, let me put it that way. The problem is between the ears of a couple of people. All right. Yeah. Uh, Killer, there is a port in the middle of chat that will take you to SSC. Then you can just follow the line of corpses in. How did the resist gear feel? Do you think we need to stay with that much, or can we try a little lower? Mm -hmm. You died. When I was um, thinking him in frost. I don't know, healers. If you run out of here and come out. Just die to it. I was only looking at the raid frames, obviously not healing. It seemed okay. Yeah, I think everyone's in combat now. I think we can just kill this thing. No, knock. Yeah, knock your, your mic's been lit up this whole time, but no sound. 
All right, not too bad. Get back. I I think we got this, guys. That's just uh, it's just control. We are more than fine on damage. Um, I think for future attempts, we'll just arrow on the rip and put as much damage into him as we can before he uh, before we have to swap. Hopefully, we can keep it to only like four-ish swaps, maybe three. Now that people have a feel for what's going on. That was what, two swaps and we were at 50% with no, like, no nothing? Yeah, we'll basically we'll hear it once aggro is okay. Is he immune to nature in the other phase? Uh, yeah, he yeah. is. <laughs> Sucks. Test, test. Yeah, can hear you. Also, like we're we're not gonna go like crazy long tonight, or guys. Like I think we've got, we should have time, you know, get in here a couple times before this comes out. Get our get our good look at stuff. Um, I don't want to burn people out. Enjoy the farm phase while we can. Plus, for those of you who have PTR in the past, there's like a ninety percent chance that whatever we do tonight is gonna get changed before it goes live. So. I guess it's less so with a 15 year old game, but normally whatever you see gets like massively nerfed or buffed. Do we want to pull a few of the elementals before the boss? Yeah, let's try it. We only have one last time that wasn't too bad. I think we got four. Yeah, we got four at the end of it. Four? four yeah, like the they just, yeah, as the ball, not like four like in total throughout the fight, yeah. Okay. Well, the end was just because we did a, a quick double state change, right? And each of the, each of the changes spawned out. Yeah, but I mean, in that first phase, we got yeah. four of these train, four, four of these elementals out of the train. Uh, Can the we just is... count them? Yes. No pull buttons. You know? So you can go off to the side and pull one. Yeah. Because they only got like 11 k HP. Yep. Uh, where's Star dead? Under the boss. So good luck with that shit. Is he AFK or some shit? Yeah, he said he had to be semi-AFK tonight. Uh, Alright. Well, I guess if he's AFK or dead, he's useless to me both ways, so I'll just leave him fucking dead. Summons working right in instances now. Uh, the port yes. and chat actually takes you inside of SSC. Yeah. Alright, grab the timer on the transition, mm -hmm. dude. What do you mean? When when we're transitioning from cold oh, to nature. Um, it's how fast he stacks the debuff. Um, Just trying to get a sense is if it's right on a minute or. If we've got um, a little leeway. I think it's going to be about 45 seconds per phase. Okay. Ish. Are we lusting off the bat this time? Yeah, once once Mandalore's got threat, we'll go ahead and lust. It's going to be a little okay. dicey just because of resist gear, so... But yeah, we'll just give it, like, a little bit of time so that we basically end Hera when uh, we have to transition. Okay. Go ahead, pop your shit. It's free. Can I get Kings and Mark in group two? Yep, I forgot to do Polyva. So the line that we have to cross is like where the red, where it becomes a red, right? Pretty much. Yeah, it looks like you kind of have to like take him a little bit further over to get it to trigger. So, exaggerated movements. Uh, Kings, there you go, thank you. All right, anybody still missing buffs or anything? Okay, um, let's be ready 
to pull just in case this shit aggroes, but go ahead and keep plink those uh, the ads on the side in here. Grab one more. Actually, what we'll do is we'll pull this next ad and then we'll just charge on in. So pull him. Here we go in three, two, one, go. I cannot allow you to interfere. A bunch of bears. Yeah, give, give threat a second for Hero. Oh my god. Spread out a little yeah. more just so we're not chaining the tombs around. Just go ahead and toss out battle reses freely. Grab not, grab Lex Deep as well. Right, we are switching. Aggro, 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 aggro. Let's go ahead and uh, pop Mr. X on the transitions too. So, pavilion for nature and indoor for uh, water. Oh, I'm done. Yeah. What's, uh, what's going on back there? Uh, that was why I all went to healers. That was with wings and a destruction potion. Alright, well, the ads, are, the ads are killing us. Just go ahead and wipe it out. So, basically, Consecrate cannot hit all four of them out of the gate. Gotta give me at least a second. If they take off, that's that's pretty much that. Because I can taunt um, one, but three different. They were into three different targets. Are they healers, because they're not going to stop healing. I mean, basically, what I remember doing, like you have to chill on that initial phase. Like you can even grab the boss. Like if you, I'm not saying somebody did it, but if you like prayer of healing, or like that's gonna rip off. Like I can't keep over that. Not when I haven't hit it yet. Okay. No. Well, that's why we're here. Figure this shit out. Because Consecrate can hit two of them, and then I'm trying to either the back two, front two, I can judge, and the other one that's... I'm just trying to drag into Consecrate at that point. I have nothing for that other one. I mean, do you want uh, Warriors to toss in a shield and grab single adds? Uh, it shouldn't. Like, the first wave was fine. It's just when one gets free like that, and then if you out threat my judge and the other one goes that's not a whole lot i can do but i, I mean just on the spawn i could hit one and then drag it over to you uh yeah like if you wanted to say i can mark the ones that consecrate's not gonna hit 
you Looks so, like Clax posted in the discussions about yeah, misdirecting the ads. Claxton, if you can hear this backseat driver. Um what uh what what was different about the first one versus the second one? Because the first I'm just getting a hard time. Um the first one seemed fine. Like they were immediately like all grouped together, locked down. Second one was all over the place. Uh, so the first one, Consecrate, was on the first um, set. I laid it a little bit early so that I was able to... Uh, it ticked like once and I laid it on the front ones. And then uh, Avenger's Shield didn't miss twice. Can I give a suggestion just because I'm watching the tanks that are picking up Pavilion and Mandalore can pull Rage. They know when the transitions happen, they should need misdirect as bad as GCD should need it, so I would save Mistrex for the ads to clump them up. If that makes sense. It it does, except like one loose ad is not a wipe, one loose boss is a wipe. Um, I'm gonna put on a little bit more hit, because two Avenger shield misses is extremely yeah, rare let's 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 just try and get because honestly that first one was textbook if this if the second one was even like half as good of that it would i don't think it would have been a problem um i do think that the aoe can probably take another like can take a couple seconds to to get going like just um make sure they're they're grouped up and whatnot That'd probably be a good time for healers to watch watch fade and, and whatnot. Um, also on transition, if you're low on health, go ahead and pop a health stone, just so we're not um, overburdening the healers with aggro at the one time they don't want it. Or even bandage, which has the nice property of making you wait for a little while before you start DPS again. I, I don't I don't want to have a strat that relies on people bandaging. Although the sentiment is nice. Remember Loatheb? Never worked. Yeah. Um, pe people just need to see it. I think we're... It's, e each one was better than the previous. I think we're good. Just How about just have the AoE tank call the AoE, and while we're AoEing, the ads keep coming, so you're going to need a second off tank to pick up the new ones coming down the line. These these little ones are like nothing compared to the big ones. The ones the ones that spawn on the transition hit like three times harder and have like seventy k health. These guys have like eleven k. Yeah, I'm just saying we're aoeing a little early. If yeah. if we can get a call for it. Yeah, yeah actually, call. you yeah you call yours pavilion, call yours man. Like just call call when you guys have a good threat lead. Like Mandalore said, like you got a bunch of parries. Like that was I think that was super helpful. I saw everybody kind of chill out. So. Um, you know what? Until we're running into mana problems, let's give all the healers self. That's a good suggestion too, but I didn't know they didn't have it. If we start having mana problems, we'll adjust. But I think I think that's a good I mean honestly if you guys you guys are looking at this right, like this is maybe a three and a half minute fight, maybe four. So it's not it's not crazy. Okay, uh, pop your stuff, any food buffs, whatever. Mm. Progress. That's why we're here. Um, why don't two of the hunters, oh, actually, I only got two hunters in the match. Um, yeah, you keep using them on bosses. If we really have a problem with ads, we'll switch something up, but I, I think the boss is the play, because the boss is like, the boss gets loose, it's a wipe. So... All right, ready? Okay, all of these elementals. Let let that middle one. Oh, no, okay, mm -hmm. so let the middle one go. We'll get one more elemental off the right, and then we we'll go. Yeah, see these guys. These guys just fall over if you look at them too hard. Alright, going in in three, two, one, Mandalore. I cannot allow you to interfere. Just let us know. Should be good. Alright. 
Well, okay, it's not up yet. Hold, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and bust two minutes now, and we'll hold arrow for the uh, second water phase. Range can spread out a little bit more. I shouldn't have any more than like one person get hit by those uh, blobs. Can we have melee form a triangle um, to try to avoid too many blobs? Pretend it's KT and make sure Mandalore is not in your range 10 so he doesn't get stunned again. I don't believe he casts it on the tank. Here we go. Chill out on threat. Chill, chill, chill. Swap, swap, swap. Swap, swap, swap. It's on Texas, on Spray, Got it. Pavilion. That should be good. Okay, boss threat should be fine. Focus on ads and let Mandalore's uh, buff wear off. Um, you guys don't have to tanks. You don't have to run right now. Just down. down. Yeah, that was an early transition too. Yeah, he aggroed to somebody outside of Frost. So triangles seem to work well on the first one, um, but uh, when we were killing ads on that last phase, a whole bunch of us piled uh, together. Yeah, I mean, techni technically yes, but that wasn't even in our top five of problems, so. Um, okay, get back. I think what happened there, Mandalore, correct me if I'm wrong, is you had the sludge debuff most of that time. Yeah. And basically cut your threat in like, quarter. Yeah, so I think that's bad luck, but if Mandalore gets the sludge debuff, I mean, we basically have to sit on our hands. Like, there's, there's shit we can do about it. We're not running two frost tanks. Um, what is it, like a 300% swing production or something like that? 50% 50, 50 damage, 50% swing time? So I think, basically, if, Man if Mandalore gets that, especially before a transition, um, I think we just have to be on like ultra threat alert, like take your time, kill the ads. Um, but the switch was good. I think we just need to watch threat on that, on that last one. You got a threat meter, make it gigantic. Here. On the fucking elevator. Are you guys are you guys all in in zone combat? He don't. I got outside. Mm. He's reset now. Okay. Oh. So when I hit the top of the elevator. 
My boy don't take the stairs, he skip leg day. <laughs> So the GCD was getting rocked that time. Yeah, so looking at, uh, I did get crit once. So I can take off a little bit of nature um, or frost to improve that, but it was just, I got, it was just hot ticks for six hits and then one heal from spray. Okay. I think you can take off frost for sure. Um, when we did our first bowl, I didn't do frost totem. Not. Yeah, like our first first goal and you he's guys got, seem like you're doing fine he's got the aura though so you don't have to do oh okay if he's running aura you don't have to do frost totem at all yeah i have a uh, aura going yeah so but it does seem to be whatever i have the same exact amount but nature seems to be where i'm besides that time nature has been doing more damage to me than frost you were getting bonked by the boss that time too because i didn't get aggro on him right away my first mango was a miss or a parry uh, yeah, the heal was recovered from that. Like, I was, I got, it was mainly add damage for the rest. Because I'm probably going to get hit by the boss once, because my Consecrate's going to tick on him. <laughs> Do we want to save Misdirect in case Mandalore gets the Sludge debuff? Uh, we only have two. I mean, I don't, I don't want it to be a situation where it's like, oh, he's going to hit GCD once, like... That's that's nuts. It's like five K damage. It doesn't need to happen. Um, I I think I think I think we're good. I think it just just practice. I'm not gonna overhaul too much. You can switch switch your gear on a little bit, size X, if you if you feel. Yeah, I mean, I think I might try to get a little bit more defense. Without double Avenger Shield misses, though, it's not too bad to grab them. That's good to know. Yeah, you're pretty... You're pretty spell damage out there. Yeah, like this is a lot of threat. I have... With the Shaman, I have 800 spell damage. You want to scale that back any, or...? Uh, the problem is... I mean, as long as the Warlocks give me, like, three seconds... I, sh I can hold off of them, but if like a seed goes off with two consecrate ticks, they're gonna go everywhere. It's pretty hard, dude. <laughs> but I will scale it back a little bit. Yeah, I mean, do whatever, do whatever makes sense, right? Because you also like you pop in your trinket on, you know, most of them. Yeah, and... yeah, it's trinket, potion, and then avenger, uh, avenging wrath. Yeah, so it's not the difference between 600 and 800, right? It's the difference between 900 and 1100. I yep. think you're, I think you're fine. Yeah, just picture the Warlocks pushing a big red button whenever there's more than three targets. Yeah, like the firefighter button. Yeah, it's oh, like, no, I'm going up just kicking it. Just biting their lip and just like mashing a giant button. Yeah, just screaming unlimited power. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys using a frost trap? Because when you pull him over the frost trap, it delays the spawn of ads and it would make the ads stay in place. Like if someone did pull aggro, it would give GC more time on him to taunt. I mean, we're, we're not. I mean, we can try it, see if they're snareable. My guess is it would at best only work on the nature ones. Yeah, I, I would guess the nature ones only, but it would help. Uh, so I'll try it. I'm going to bet these things aren't snareable, but we'll see. Okay. If cooldowns are an issue, just let Javine note it at the next one. Honestly, you guys, like, we're like one transition, maybe two away from killing it, so, like, we also don't need to overcomplicate it, just... If 
we can if we can do one, we can do four. All right, buffs out, mana up. Looks like we're missing a pally buff. Yep, sorry, I was changing gear. Once mana is good, we'll do the same thing. We'll hit the we'll kill the two adds and then go on in. Absolutely. All right, looking pretty good. All right, here we go. Kill these two adds. Just put a giant threat meter on the middle of my screen, so I know. All right, here we go. Nice and smooth. Okay. Uh, that's good. pretty good. Go ahead and unload. So tanks, you don't immediately have to run when you hit 100%. You get a little bit of time, so you can... So when it hits 100%, we'll call it, DPS chills out, and casually walk across the line. Okay, 100%, we're gonna swap. DPS chill, 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 chill. A little further. All right, he has swapped. Hodge. CD, use your words. Abs are good. Like a top okay. two year old. Almost have it. Alright, pretty they are stunnable. Yes. Oh, you can pass uh, them. Lexi, go ahead and res Groy. That's coming down in three seconds. Yeah, got him. Uh, Greg, I'm down. Get, get uh, transition, transition, and go. Just run him over. I, I mean, I don't have aggro. I'm putting in a ton. That was 363 nature resistance. Raybolt's dragging the frost Tran side. Tran Tran transition him, transition run him, run him over, run back. You are no better than they. Alright, 45 seconds later. And, and it's gone too good, so it's gone. Okay, wipe it out. Quick plays could have saved that one, but we probably shouldn't lose the nature tank to begin with. So what I remember doing was that, so if you were a DPS, specifically like a warlock, maybe a mage, you, you went and stood on the other side, like you were always on the opposite side, like towards that transition. I mean, it's easier just to make sure you're not um, not pulling threat, but... So, if you're on the opposite side, whatever, fine, it will... It's it's actually not always better to be on the opposite side. Because if you're on the opposite side, you can transition him early. And 
the whole thing just works on not pulling aggro. So, um, so I'm not. I, I would rather have the the DPS have good spread out positioning than like be doing some shuffle on a strat that assumes they're going to pull aggro because they're not. So, all right, so, get back. I mean, healers like tell me, tell me what you need. Like, why, why are tanks dying? What do you, what do you need? Would it help if um, during that transition? Obviously, it's only ever two tanks taking damage. Do you want healers? Do you want like one rest of druid assigned to each one? Do you think you're just being spread? Now's, now's the time when you when you talk. I mean, I'm trying to roll life loop on both. Um, that time I just got water tombed to death. You got you got red still, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was honestly just a lot of burst. What uh what was your damage log look like, Pavilion? Uh let's see eighty five hundred, then a bunch of heals, thirty five hundred, a couple heals, thirty three hundred, couple heals. 7k, not a ton of heals, 8,900, more heals, but then another 9k. Yeah, he died in, he, he was full 1.5 seconds before he died. And that's, I think, cap is 365, so that's two nature resistance under the cap, so I can't put on any more. Are you on credible, though? No, those were crits, right? Uh, I didn't say crit. Those, those look like crits, his base is like... Four to five thousand. What? How much? Uh, what's your crit look like with resilience? And... Uh, it's not great when I have on full nature resistance. I'm definitely critical. Uh, I bet. Who's gonna catch me with the bop here? Coming down. Look at him come. Make make plays. Make plays. Oh. oh, they oh. did it. Jump again. <laughs> now you're going back up. He's a one-hit wonder. Didn't have time. Didn't have time to get off the elevator. No, it's it's all nature damage, but it's a melee hit, so it can it can crit. It can't it's not supposed to crush. So but it is you can crit, so like resilience is is good here yeah there's guardian elixir pavilion and then it's actually better if he like if you take off more nature resist and yeah i'll go back crit. to uncritable yeah that's the play hey third belly buff wisdom Going back to what Sizax was saying, anytime we do the phase shift, I start moving to the other side of the line and use that as an opportunity to tap for the AoE. You shouldn't you shouldn't really have to move. Like I'd rather you guys have good spread out position than yeah, so like we, moving. Yeah, the problem for me is like once we pop Harrow halfway through it, I'm like ninety percent of threat cap, so I have to shatter and I don't have shatter after that for five minutes, so <clears throat> Probably want to get tanks uh, to get rage off the little elementals first, too. I guess, uh, Rake and, uh, Rake and Killer can't do a whole lot during, uh, during nature phase anyway. That's dumb. If there's, like, one class that's just like, oh, just take a new map, boss. It's like farming elemental airs. Yeah, I had to make a whole nother character to do that. Uh, 
uh, gift denominator added to the pally power, and we can have sweet, sweet pally buffs. Does anyone know if we can get shards off these 11 k elementals? Uh, I don't see why not. I'm gonna charge out pretty much anything. I'll try it on this next pool. These guys don't give shards. Stand corrected. It was sad. I mean, to see why the vendor has not been. To be fair, he did say almost anything. Nominator standing 50 yards away, taunting me with a third pally buff, but not quite close enough. I'm very confused. Come here, come here, bud. <laughs> Are you baiting him with a heel? Yeah, leave him little breadcrumbs. <laughs> I don't know what's funnier. You gotta lure him and beg him, give him something to something to snack on. <laughs> I can't believe that actually works. That hurts. Yeah, it's so that last pally buff is gonna give us a kill. I mean, don't like. I'm not. I'm not saying it's going to, but if you think about it, like people for people sleep on buffs and. Light is what, like 300 attack power? Just think of like how much gear you need to get 300 attack power. And like. I mean, Light is a free world buff, like. Mm hmm. I'm convinced Paladins are wide lines are OP and PVE of uh, the level. Yeah, Wisdom is uh, like one fifth of a Shadow Priest. It's pretty good. And they don't go oom. They can just continue healing forever. My, can I get a 10 minute with or might over wisdom? I'm yep. The only, I'm the only enhanced, so. Yeah, let me find you on my list. Group two. Alright, so keep trying the trap. Um, keep doing MDs into the tanks. I keep hearing them miss and parrying in every transition, so I think we just need the Mr. Arcs for safety. And the GCD's, GCD's got it figured out, so... We... we good. Alright, kill these next two water guys, and we will go. So the task got rage, right? It doesn't matter too much, I'm just dance dancing. Oh, okay. Right, here we go. Yeah. I cannot do that. Look sharp, watch threat. Should be good. Soon. Here we go. Yeah. Right, yeah. Chill, chill, yeah. chill, chill. Add a little further pavilion just so a wiggle doesn't put us over the line. DPS is good. Yeah, Brad. DPS is good to go. If 
If not, Pavilion will get you on the next transition. Yeah, I used it. Okay. When you're when you're done tanking, Pavilion. Yep. Yeah. Okay. If one of the tanks gets file sludge, like start yelling. Okay, next mark. I got it. Okay, we are gonna we're gonna chill. We're gonna be nice and cozy on the ads. We're gonna let Mandalore's buff reset. He's gonna tell right. us when we're good. Boss is a hundred. Okay. I'm moving him. All right, keep Pavilion up. Keep Mandalore up. MD and the Mandalore. MD and the Mandalore. MD and the Mandalore. All right, we're already back to nature. Pavilion's up again. See if you can get these ads. There's a lot of oh fuck. Well, the mark didn't reset, so I'm still at 100. I'm probably going to get clapped. Yeah, yeah, we're, trying we're, to get we're, him. We, we, I think we're done. Yes. Just he keeps um, aggroing to a searing totem. Initially. I saw that too, yeah. That's something. the second time he's done that. I wonder... I don't know what... That's kind of weird. I saw the same thing, though. We can, we can pull totems just to remove the variable. I, I think what you guys... One thing I, I would recommend to the tanks... Um, you guys are like transitioning him and then basically stopping. I, I think you want to move him another five or ten feet, just so he's like not right on the line, so that like if if somebody gets it, they can feign, they can shatter, whatever. Like it gives them a little bit of reaction time, it gives you a chance to land another hit. If you if you keep him right on the line, if they so much as turn around, he's gonna transition back and wipe us. So I think like we have a we have at least like. The marks come every like 10, 15 seconds. So when he goes to 100, you've got time. So like run all the way across, transition him cleanly. DPS and healers are chilling out. New tank picks him up, go to work. I think like if you if you stop right there, that, that line is just gonna cause us problems. So. But that was, that was smooth. Um, we were one transition away from finishing there, so all you have to do is do one more, one more swap. We were, we were good on DPS. We're chunking them in the first phase with Hero, it's nuts. We had something weird with Serum Totem 2. Oh, somebody posted that. If you have the rep, you can repair right outside the instance. That does make sense. Okay, well, no more seeing totems then. That's a bummer. Market as a bug. Dear Blizzard, where do you get off? <laughs> uh. Hey, yeah, I'm sorry you got some stuff going on, but could you fix the searing totem, please? Yeah. I don't care about your legal woes. Fix my 15-year-old game. Dear Blizzard. I mean, to be fair, we are paying them to play the 15-year-old game. That's true. We're probably the only ones keeping the fucking lights on right now. Because retail's, like, dying. Dear Blizzard, stop making everything nature immune. Thank you. Oh, wait. There's a... Loot Reaver is a poison immune and I think bleed immune. Yep. Sad rogue fight. He's also got like an extra two thousand armor just for fun. More than any, his the most armor of any boss. Like I was told there was a repair vendor right outside. You gotta be exalted. Oh well, fuck! Oh, such troll. What the fuck? If you're exalted though, you can buy uh, three mana pots, three super mana pots for one coil fang armament. So you want you want incentive? There you go. Are we oh, I, clear? I am exalted. Uh, where's the repairs? It's a little uh, Naga or broken guy, like right, right outside to the right of the door. Left, I guess. Left as you're looking in, kind of like on the way to slight pens or steep fall. Yes. Oh, I see. Thanks. Yeah, I see. Thank you. Dude, Balas, you like risk that elevator again. It does the like the little the fake drop. Yeah. 
You like ran in. It's just mechanics, bro. Man, where's where's PTR Tuku been all my life? I'm like my butt my butt's clenched, like looking at his like chasing Mandalore threat. Oh, it's really scary. I got pretty close there. Uh, just start doing that uh, every week. I'm live. We'll, we'll call it good. You gonna give him the next dragon spawn? No. <laughs> I mean, it would certainly help. I wouldn't say no. Just need like, just need like five more. Although, honestly, when they nerf Google next phase, like you could probably go in with two groups of like twelve and two girls. And twice the shoulders. Four shoulders a week? Four, four shoulders a week, yeah. I think we're already disenchanting pants, so... Zero pants and four shoulders. Thank goodness they fixed that, though. But it was originally, like, it wasn't until Black Temple they fixed the two drops thing. I just can't yeah. believe that the teardrops were worse than Max. Like, I thought next teardrops were pretty bad, but this was, like, actually worse. <laughs> That's technically, like, you know, next you get... Two yeah, for one 40. for 20 people. Yeah, two, two for 40, or this is one for 25, which is just... <laughs> it's it's abysmal, dude. You mean Karis better, right? You get... Yeah. You get two and a half for a 25-man raid group per week. So, that's about what it should be. That's actually probably a little too much, but whatever. All right, we're all here. Buffs out. All right, let's kill these guys on the left, or sorry, the right. I think we're gonna be a little short in here with some timer, so we'll do second frost phase, assuming we're Smooth criminals. Let's get that one there, then we'll go. Here we go. I do not allow you to interfere. Yes. Should be good. Uh, no, Harrow's still on cooldown, so we'll, uh... Oh, I just us. meant DPS in general. Mm -hmm. Spread out, melee little, uh, triangle formation. Do we have two minutes until you're up? Soon. Here we go. Moving. Yes, chill. I'm stunned. So I'm water tombed, water tombed, water tombed. Alright, go on the ends. Pats are good. Hold on. Getting the dodges. Dry. Remember, we are not searing totem anymore. One of the druids has got a res, go ahead and hit denominator. He's up. Thank you, thank you. You are no better than they.
switch coming soon. Ah, oh, I got the sludge. Right, we're gonna chill. All right, that's one hundred percent. I'm moving him. Okay, misdirect. Make sure we get the misdirect. Use both of them if you got it. Dead. Yeah. Run across the line. Okay, switch him, switch him, switch him, switch him. Okay, if we've got a, if we've got, got a res, okay, thank you. I'm up. All right. Stabilize, GCD's on heads. Uh, that's good. Can I grab your energy? Yeah, I guess. Yes. GCD's dead. We got one more res for GCD. Getting them. Okay, GCD is up. Throw him some cheap buffs. I'll banish these ads. And Jason soon. GC is two. Here we go. Hey, don't let my tanks die, please. Transition, transition, transition. Move further than you have to. The poison I will purge you from this place. Okay, threat is good. I'm fucking dying. Ugh. Sorry. Holy shit. Alright, go ahead and get clear this once this is done. All right, we are running seven healers, and the healers are going oom. Um, do we need to do healing assignments like old school? Are you guys like, are we overhealing too much, or what's uh, what's the deal? Let's see. I'm assuming most of the healers are switching to the actual, like, the main tank, whoever's tanking the, uh, the boss. So I'm mainly just getting healed by HOTS. I mean, that time I had two extra ads, so I had six ads on me. That's a lot of ads. But it was still, it was, uh, two direct heals and then HOTS between nine hits. Did you get crush, Pat? He hit you for 12.5k. Uh, I think I must have gotten crushed. My combat log, I don't know why, it's just saying... Everything's just saying hit. There's no crit or crush indicator. Yeah, it's a, it's like a spell. It is it is a crit. It should not be a crush, but... Good crit, yeah. crit. I should be crit immune. I'm 389 defense and 54 resil, which I believe is over the top. I thought it was 390. I think there was. I think I have enough for Zell to make up for the missing defense. Oh yeah. This is fucking... Our our overhealing is a little bit out of control. Do you guys want to do like more static healing assignments? Give it a shot. I wonder if when I was strafing the boss, I turned my camera too much and I got whacked in the back. I bet that's what happened. Yeah, I was actually wondering if you gave your back to him. Yeah, try not, I mean, definitely try not to let him hit you in the back. Um, 
So the rest of druids are definitely on main tank. Denominator is definitely on, say, GCD and then main tank otherwise. Um, and then Rez and the rest of shamans are on triage. Yeah, I think because at least at the start, while uh, Hydros isn't doing his growth mechanic, growth thing, whatever it's called, the marks, uh, I'm getting hit harder than the tank, I'm pretty sure. Until he gets about the 50% buff. So if I could get. At which point the ad should be dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's just at that initial stage, I think um, the healers are naturally going to like the boss tank. And I'm actually getting hit harder than him at that particular point. The uh, question if you can two tank this is answered now, though, in this gear level, anyway. Yeah. That's a big no. Yep. Those adds truck. Like, I didn't. I am under defense cap still, but I wasn't crit at all there. Well, they're what? They're 71. 72? I didn't notice what the... Ah, uh, they are 72. Were. Yeah, so that's not... It's a little lower cap Yeah, to 485. I'm wondering, Pavilion, if when we do if we do this again on live, you wouldn't go like leg kit on the legs or something just to get a little tankier. I don't know, uh, if, like eight, I don't know if eight's the Oh yeah. I can swap it for next week or after this next That's... death I'll need to repair so I can get one there. All right, get Brilliant. back, dude. Again, we're like, I mean, we we got it right. Like we've done, we can do enough transitions to kill the boss. Like we've we've now done enough transitions to kill it. So I think we're we've we've got the pieces here. We just got to do it. Uh, why are people still dead? Oh, you're being crashed. Uh, I was dead a second ago because I uh, ran to the bathroom, sorry. When do Lux get the closet? Wrath, I think. Uh, no, they BC. got it in BC. It's, it BC. Might have, it's just later. It might have been the... Uh, is it the Wrath pre-patch or is it something or something? I think we did it in Black Temple all the time. But maybe I'm misremembering. So maybe it's Black Temple patch? What's closet? What are you, you know, talking about? The ritual of summoning, like the... Where you summon the, like... I don't know, oh, basically you summon yeah. a summoning stone. Oh. I got some for you, Dino. Yeah. Uh, Pavilion, by the way, so what I think Mandalore is doing is grabbing one of the ads so he's grabbing uh like just aggro i can mark something or he's just grabbing one uh man where you can speak to how much damage you're taking but it does it definitely alleviates some of the damage all right i, I can do that yeah the boss isn't hitting me very hard at the beginning no i mean like whenever you're not like during the transition like whenever you're not tanking like so whenever man is not tanking he grabs an ad okay so you want me to grab a frost ad yeah like i don't Gotcha. I don't think one's gonna kill you. You can call for some banishes if you're getting crushed. Like, oh yeah, if you are, because I'd rather not use banish. I mean, if we have to, we have to, but I really don't. Think I mean, it slows it everything down, but yeah. I mean, if you're dying. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I kind of rather us uh, fear it than banish it. Uh, the uh, positioning is lousy, but then we can break it if we need to. Let's the only problem is he it goes it, it takes off and usually so if it's two of them healers have aggro on it by the time it's actually done running around so i have taunt for one of them 
Unless it yeah. happens let's, to be the same healer. Let's do let's do neither, please. I would say stuns, not banishes or fears. So. All right, we are looking good. Kill these, kill this one coming, and then the one that's going to spawn, and then let's do it. We'll have Harrow for full once the threat's good. Dravina still fall behind. Ah, oh, fuck, hang on. Just kill, kill this one and just chill. Congrats, you bored, I'm sorry. I'm like zoning out. Uh, buff Dravine real quick when he gets here. Looking good. Let's go kill, kill the right ads again. Remember, no steering totem. I definitely forgot on one of them. Right, one more ad. I do not allow you to interfere. <sighs> Should be good. Hey, chill, 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 chill. Nice pickup. Ah, uh, should be good. Since we guys, keep it up. Okay, moving boss in about five seconds. All right, 100% moving. Okay, chill, 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 chill. I see a steering totem. Healers, nice save. Remember, melee spreading out a little bit. Range is spreading out a little bit. Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, 
This should be our last transition. Chill, chill, chill. Nice and smooth. Don't die, Papa Healthstone. Okay, here we go. GCD, Pavilion, call your threat. Thrice good on the boss. That's her. He's adds down. We're staying. Yeah, I got the adds down. We're staying here. Nice shot, Oh, PvP ring. Look at that. Great. <laughs> get it, get it out of your system now, game. I don't, I don't want this crap on live. Drop three items, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, because no tier token, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, we're we're not gonna go crazy longer. Let's go get a look at lurker. I just want to see the spawns and then. Uh, Cut people loose. Nice job, though. That was like each one of those transitions was textbook. Nice, especially like tanks and heals that on, on that huge, um, that huge tomb. That was ultra clutch. So nice job, everybody. Uh, I mean, you, you can keep these characters. We'll probably get on here, you know, a couple more times. Who wants to grab those? Uh, you guys want any of that crap? I don't know. Figure it out amongst yourselves. I would use the defense trinket. I'll trade it to you if I win it. I don't need it. All right, where is Lurker? I thought you'd get to him a little quicker than this. I thought you could swim there? Yeah, yeah the way we're facing, me and Idol. You know, I'll just book it. Whoops, I guess we're booking it. <laughs> As he falls off the edge. Um, Maybe not, dude. We're gonna get fish in here? A lot of fish, man. That's, That's a, a lot, lot of fish. fish. GCD, save us. I got him. That's so many fish! Alright, before we go further in Agrimore. Jesus, what the size of what am I paying you for? <laughs> I got him, I just died. <laughs> so many of them. Did we get enough people to uh, to lurker to have someone? I think there's a way to get there without quite so many fish. It looked like they're spawning as you know you stayed in the water longer. Um, which one of which one of the bosses cooks the water? I forget. Is it... I thought it was lurker. It's the lurker. Uh, or no, no, um, one of the other bosses. When you kill them, kills all the fish in the water. I thought yeah, it was. Um... I thought it was lurker. No, I thought it was. Yeah, let me look. I think usually you clear the, some platforms and you come down on a pipe that's closer to the uh, lurker platform. Yeah, you know, that sounds. How many? How many people made it over? Question is, the lock make it over? Six. Seven. No more locks. No warlocks. Wait, what's Cla Clappy's alive? I think he even said, no, fuck that. I just watched you guys die. <laughs> <laughs> Did any locks Did die payment. close? I died like a quarter of the way there, dude. So not really. They all, have like, halfway there. They all have like 3k HP, guys. I want to know which. I could swear it was. Right it was one of the other bosses. I could have swear it was. Does water walking. Like can you uh, not aggro uh, fish if you water walk? I would expect they could jump up and still get you. Yeah, I thought so. Might be just quicker than swimming. Oh, God. They definitely get you. 
Yeah, we have a repair bot. I'll drop it when we get in there. Alright, let's figure out how to get everybody over there and get a look or two at Lurker. I'm gonna make a quick trip to shop some shards. We need a fishing pole, isn't somebody with max fishing? You don't need max, but I have max. Okay. And I have my fishing pole. Alright. You cool. need at least 300. Th oh, okay. Good to know. So, quick recap on this boss. He does, I mean, there's basically only two things he does. He does a water spout where he spins around and like blasts water. Um, you don't, you can't get hit by it. You're dead if you get hit by it because you'll get knocked into the water with the fish. Um, the best way to get out of it is to jump in the water and like pop under for a second, let it go by you and pop back out. Uh, and then he will submerge periodically and ads will come in from like three different sides. So we'll have to find, find the sides, pre-position our tanks, and then, uh, probably throw some sheeps out there, burn down the ads, comes back up and we just repeat. So do we think that during the fight fish won't spawn? They won't. Okay. They're not supposed to. But I know if you get like knocked way the hell away, you, you tend to get gibbed by fish, but I don't know exactly the mechanics of how they work. And so how, how are we going to get people here? Are they going to, everyone going to rush to try to get a lock over so we can summon for the next cycle or what? Well, I need to see exactly where I'm not, we're not all even back yet. I can't see where, how far we can go. What's like, what's the closest? They only hit for like 200. I just had like 50 of them on me. Uh oh. Goodbye. Can you get invis bots? Star, you you are you are one dumb. So Valis. Can somebody you... stay back with the res and get star? Cause he is. You can go up and over on that pipe that I'm looking at. Yeah. Is there a pad over there though? Is anybody anybody got eyes on star? We're probably likely gonna need to do summons anyway, but. All right, so yeah, let's see if we can go up and over here. Um, the pavilion, you go first. Sacrificial lamb. Texas, go. Well, oh, they hit very hard. They don't hit for fifty. I said two hundred. <laughs> I'm dead again. No, it's it hit hit far away. Fast. So for clothy, they hit for uh, nine hundred each. I guess it's because I was in uh, aquatic form because they were hitting me for like five hundred each. Yeah, mine was 118, 210. They do hit fast as shit. All right, let's see how close we can get without having to do that. That looks like suicide. If you got a slow fall or something, have fun. But... Good to know. We, I mean, hey, this is a thing we've also got to figure out for, for live too, so. <laughs> Well, I assume we'll just clear more trash before we go there on live. I think that's... I think we're gonna have to. You gotta kill it in afterwards anyways, right? Some of it is completely skippable. Um, Alright, what do you guys actually have over there? Do you have anything? Like, any locks? Any... anything? No locks? We have, like, eight people here, but no locks. You got a mage. What the fuck is a mage? Give us some water. So once wants to escort me, I just grab 34 shards. Yeah, I think we... I think we need to... I don't think we're gonna be able to get over there. I'm gonna throw all the food in the water to distract the fish. Um, alright. Everybody get to... If you, if you made it over there, good job. You're getting summoned back. Um, everybody else who's in the instance, head over to where I'd like to... Just left a hydrost and we'll, uh, happy for you. we'll summon people back here. If you're dead in the water, just run back. You could port us out and we could teleport back. Yeah. yeah, that works. If you want to just uh, port to Shat, port to SSC from the middle. Well, good to know that that's a big bust.
And Sizex, you said we're dropping a bot, right? Because I'm at 1%. Yeah, I don't... I'm literally all red now. Okay. Fish took my gear and swam off with... Just making sure I don't need to like hearth. Some gangster fish, dude. <laughs> I <Seriously>? fucked up. <laughs> Sizex, makes me really uncomfortable when you use, like, correct capitalization and punctuation. I feel like I'm being, like... Like I'm in school. Yeah. Sorry, man. Not or dead. Not. Alright, I think we should only have to clear one, maybe two of these. I didn't see what trash is it was, so is that the stuff before oh. Hydros? It's the... it's... no, it's a little different. It's, uh... Shatterers, Honor Guards, and... Priestesses. Can I get a res on the elevator, please? Two dollars. Oh, even Noctung has fallen to the mighty elevator boss. I thought I could, uh, I thought I could dive it and intervene at the end, but um, everyone ran away from the elevator when they got to the bottom. It's a long, it's a long way down. It takes you, it takes you like a long time to fall to the bottom. Yep. That makes you think about your choices on the way down. Does anybody else get kind of like vertigo from like falling in WoW? I love falling in WoW. I have, Dude, to, I, have um, to physically, I have to physically look away now. I used to not have to, but... Apparently the hobby of booties. Do you guys know when uh, Heroic Leap was added? Cataclysm? Uh, Cataclysm. Yeah. Dude, because you can just hop off your flying mount and Heroic Leap right, when you hit, or right before you hit the ground. Just like uh, blinking. It's it's really yep. fun. There's a lot of fun. Did, uh, did anyone ever play City of Heroes? No, literally no, no. one. Uh, well, I'm, I'm the one person who's uh, playing. Yo, that anyone game. play Black Desert? <laughs> you and a bunch of you and a bunch of bots and Chinese farmers. But uh, I mean, that one, one of the movement powers you could have was a super jump, and so you'd be like jumping around uh, skyscrapers and like you jump off like a sixty-story tall skyscraper, and you definitely get a stomach clench. Ooh, okay. I, I'm, I'm not surprised at all that Booty plays BDO. That, like, that, that definitely tracks. All right, who we missing? Just a couple people shy. Okay, big thing on these guys is the Shatterers are annoying as shit. They do a, like, a huge armor debuff, but it is spell reflectable. Um, so I think... I think we'll try sheeping one. If they're not sheepable, we'll have Mandalore tank both and then just hope that they are infrequent enough to be both spell reflected. Okay, the gang's almost out here. Uh, bots up. So, uh, do we figure out if you can summon instances yet or no? Yeah, you can summon within them. You can't. Yeah, like... I'm in here. Okay. I'm just on the elevator. Yeah. Grab, uh, grab the lady. It's definitely showing a shot for me, my bad. Yeah, I noticed that when people take the floor, it still says shot. Pretty sure these front guys heal. I think the honor guard cleaves. And the shatterers have an armor shatter reflectable thing. And I think that little technician does like literally nothing. So let's have GCD tank the two healer guys. Pavilion, take the honor guard and the little derpy guy in the corner. I think there's actually, oh, there's two derpy guys. The and then uh, Mandalore, take the two shatterers. I think we're gonna, I don't think they these have quite the AOE like the old ones. There's, so, there's a bunch of derpy guys, what the fuck? Oh, good thing you got swipe. What's with derpy? They're like the the broken NPCs in this look so goofy. I might need a misdirect if some of them get to the raid because I'm not gonna turn the cleavy mob in order to get a derpy guy. I don't know if I don't know how cleavy he is. We'll find out. Let's uh we'll just all kinda wander in there, make it happen. Alright, let's let G C D start off with a Captain America thing. Oh, here oh we go. Old right. C 
Pavilion and Mandalore. Take you guys kind of in a little bit. We'll, we'll stay here. Oh god, the seeds have started. I regret nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting it off with swipe, guys, if you pop seeds that fucking early. <laughs> oh, he has a knock-up. Don't get knocked off the edge. We're pregnant. Oh yeah, I forgot these guys have size X4. <laughs> well, the low thumb strat. I don't like I that I'm everywhere now. Kill. <laughs> so, I love still laughing in the background. Uh, let's kill this honor guard, I guess. You can probably AoE hey, down the little guys, I guess. Maybe next time I'm side like tanks the little guys. They actually don't hit that hard. I can probably tank the two healers and the little guys. I can tank them, I just need like time for more than one global to hit three of them before seeds start exploding. Hey, yeah. hey man, life comes at you fast. You gotta, you gotta react. <laughs> BRB re-rolling paladin tank. Oh, they're yeah, Tom. Like Tom. <laughs> how's, uh, how's the frequency on those uh, armor shatters, Mandalore? Uh, They're pretty infrequent. So in theory, you could reflect them all, but they're not consistent when they tag them, so sometimes they'll cast them both at the same time. Okay. Well, they definitely kept their promise. They put tons of HP back on these guys. Like, we're just killing trash for, like, three minutes here. It's ridiculous. All right, this... Does this pipe the truth here? Is this close enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the one. Alright, I'll tell you what. Healers, he healers stay up here and guide the rest of us across. We all go together. It's like crossing a road in Italy. They won't hit you if you're all there together. That's a lot of fish, man. Maybe they'll only get one. Yeah, you know, if you guys go around the other way, there's actually no fish. That is a Meme started by a man water walking, I think, but you can try it. Yeah, no, this is look, nothing's happening. Nothing's nope, happening. I got one. Two. Yeah, I died there. Water walking. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> water walk. I died water walking there earlier. Can't we just water walk on everybody? Self target only. Okay, Wait. so there are ads that spawn Try on these platforms. Friendly targets. Max Scherzer. Oh, is it? So there are ads that spawn on these platforms, and there are ads that swim in. So I want to actually. I don't think the one in the hole has ads that swim. Brantley drives one deep to right field, hooking this ball in. When when it's time to like go to work, Mandler, you kind of take the. So it's time for ads. Mandler, take the side away from the two platforms. And then, like, Pavilion take the right one, and GCD take the left one. Um, when he goes under, you'll actually want to jump over to the platforms. Um, we'll see how that goes with sheeping and, and whatnot. Um, the, the main tanking is actually done on this platform. And I, I, don't, I don't think anybody spawns on that platform with a hole in it, but we'll find out. Did you want any Warlock fears on the ads? We will see how we're doing. We'll see how tank damages we'll see how like how our dps is if it's a if it's a control thing or if we can just burn them down well to south pasadena now the health, the health values are all different than 15 years ago so i'll have to see um let me oh yeah we still still got the resist group going let me let me fix that and you go underwater for the spout you have to make sure you have a breath bar if you don't have a breath bar you can be hit by the spout So Warlock, just make sure you have a soul stone out, since we can actually res here. I have one. Cool. Alright, so remember, when you start spouting, jump in, dive under. We'll to south Pasadena. Um, spread out, and then we'll figure out the ads as they come. Any questions? At this point, Let's I think go. we just see it. Alright, if you can fish, fish. He will just he will just spawn randomly as a result of a fishing. So, uh, Mandalore is on. Everybody see where Mandalore is? So, don't be in front of him or 
Well, if you're DPS, I don't be in front of them because you're going to parry. Here we go. All right. Have fun. Yeah, this is the first cast. You know, go ahead and hero. I'll get. That's not the spout. It's just a little AoE knockback. Looks like we have fish outside. Well, good luck, everyone. Beware. Okay, this is the spout. You're ready to jump in and dive under. Gauge the speed on it. See it? See it? Okay. Nope, we're getting fish, and we shouldn't be. That's a lot of fish. All right, try and recover. Um, pop a health stone if you are low. That's it, guys. That's, well, that's most of it. Um, I still need to see the ads, but... Uh, do we care about the threat for this fight? Yes, you can pull aggro, so... I think only melee? That's... that could be. Yeah, range. You know, have fun. Let's test it. For the spout, I actually just ran around the circle. Yeah, I did too. Alright, ads are coming, ads are coming. Uh, melee, let's start on the left platform with GCD. They are stunnable. And there are ads on the platform with the hull? Okay. Uh, we'll call that Mandalore's platform, so... Pretty sure the sure. Shiva Bowl, man. Uh, yeah, we have two on this one. I just hear them. How's, uh... Pavilion... Are you on your platform? Oh, no, okay, I see. You're on the main one. Okay, so I think we will need to... assign a sheep for... Okay, let's kill the ones on the main ring first. Stop, stop fearing, stop fearing. Are we wiping you? I mean, it's just trying to get a sense of the time we need. Oh. Uh, so I think the... Coralfine Guardians have a chain cleave. So I definitely got hit like 10 yards away. But very hard to run out of that thing. You need like, you need a good lead. Okay, so I think we are going to have to do... Let's take one more shot at this before we call it a night, just because we got the way clear. Um, go ahead and wipe. We should have a soul stone and can res here. Just do it again real quick. I might die when I pop it. I got hit by the spout at the last second. Uh, let's see. Okay, yep. Idle. No, idle. Any the other shamans? I can all as well. Yeah, I just got to knock it if this whole stone's gone. Yeah, it's just a I think they fear the next submerge and new ads come in their place. He's throwing 2-2. Two, two. And getting Tucker for the first out of the second. Yeah. Yeah. Just just five everything. with one team. On the We've got we've got two sheeps, so I think what we'll do is we'll sheep one island, tank one island. Basically, sheep one island and tank the other two. That multi shot hits for like 4k on cloth, so if you healers are building that row while they're feared, and they're, as soon as the fear breaks, they're going to like dumpster on the so I don't think it's going to be a good But we just keep fear going, right? We don't let it break? Yeah, the, the ones that the warlocks are on are, I think. I, I, submit, I submit for evidence, Meg Therid and Infernals, that fear is not a perfect science. <laughs> Oh, but that is different. I'll banish. Because you can't no, no, it's it. different. That's oh, a lot sorry. of RNG. It's different. It's different. Totally different. I'm sorry, guys. Wait, was it killing all the trash? I think I remember. 
around the ring is what kills all the fish in the water. Hang on. I'll, 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 I'll find out before next time. Yeah, yeah. but that's kind of random. Was... And range I... can stand on the platforms, and then it's impossible for them to pull aggro. Um, I got hit by a fish on the main platform from the res. That was cool. Yeah, there shouldn't be fish. Um, they're just, yeah, we're not killing them. The bubbling of the water part. Because I think, I, if I remember, it's the trash. There's like five rings of those trash mobs. The first one we already did. Oh, I got ballast. Yeah, it was fun, wasn't it? That was fun for me. Oh, somebody else got, no, that was a thing. I don't know if Valus means get got a bop or you died. No, I uh, I got rezzed, and then like as my body was moving from where I died onto the main platform, a, a fish took a bite out of me and killed me. Ooh. So I had a, uh, I have a rez. That me. rez didn't work. Man, you are high maintenance. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a rez from uh, from a real healer that will give me you know what I need? <laughs> I don't think anyone can give you what you need. Alright, this is the last. Oh, somebody else did it. Okay. See? When Idle does it, it works fine. It's because it's Idle. Uh, so I got aggro after, I'm assuming, the tank died on the main platform, and it acted like one of the melees, and it actually ported me over to him. Because I was on the, uh, the opposite platform. Like the island. I... Mm -hmm. Just in case. Alright, well, yeah, I don't think you want to go onto the platforms until it's time for ads. I'm just watching videos of people doing it, and they're standing on the islands. Uh, well, I guess range DPS can the tanks might not. Oh yeah, not the not the tanks. Yeah, what I saw was like you had like mages on one, and like warlocks on another one. Like there was like kill one too. Okay, so let's let's try this. So, um, Booty and Ray, uh, see the platform I'm jumping on here, the left the left of these two over here. Um, let's have you guys sheep the two that spawn on this platform. See where I'm standing? Booty does. We'll he died, he here. died. Yeah, I'm still he running back. Okay, summon, I'll just summon Ray real quick then. So, yeah, so this platform will sheep, will sheep both of them. So then, let's have Pavilion, you do that right hand platform. And GCD, do the main island. Because you'll have probably an easier time taking three. Okay. We'll kill. Oh. I think we will like. Uh, which one kill. are we considering? Right hand, the one with booty. The one with shammy baby. The two with the mages is the one they're gonna sheep. The mages are gonna sheep the two on that one. So I wish I uh, brought some of those smoke bombs to throw. We're sh we're just sheeping like the uh, the coil fang guys that spawn. Yeah, on the this two. Platform. You'll get W you two coil fang. Water, by the way, second one. Two coil fang ambushers spawn on that platform. Shoot them both. Okay. Are you sure they're not just gonna kill us? Because I just got clapped out for like eleven thousand in one hit. Yeah. They, they have an activation like... time, so like they're gonna run to the start of the platform. If you stand on the back, you're gonna have plenty of time before they do anything. The back, like <clears throat> where you are now. Yep. Boss? Yep. So that right where okay. Ray is, Ray Bolt standing. One's gonna stand there, and the other one's gonna stand adjacent to him, and. It takes like, it's like a two second activation time. You have plenty of time before they actually turn around and try to kill you. You don't, you don't need to be standing over there. Like, you don't need to be on that platform. You can just like, you can be standing on the main ring and just sheep them from the main ring. Alright, where's the nominator and where's Tuku? I've been trying to res them, but people keep getting fish and putting us in combat. It's driving me nuts. Oh, I didn't just, know we were doing that. Yeah, let us know. Just stay I on said there. stuff going in the water. Just, yeah, just stay out of the water for a minute. Get them both up, and then 
Are those warlocks gonna stay over there? Yeah, I'm staying there. Same. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> he died instantly. Yeah, on the that's, platform. That's what happened. That's what happened to me. Well, don't worry. We will find out which boss scalds the water. I thought it was more a grim, but I'm not sure. Bagwalker? That's that sounds right. So I mean the thing is when you scald the water, the water turns into a dot. Or like a it ticks like lava, I think. But it doesn't kill you like fish. That sounds really familiar. Because I remember sitting in the water taking dot damage. Because we just killed him underwater, we never were on the platform. Uh, this one says all the platforms around it. Yeah, I, I, re I remember. Know. I remember when we would hop in the water to dodge the spout. It was it was a it was a touchy thing. Like you'd be taking damage, and you need to hop out fairly quickly. All right. Well, we we'll try we'll try the kill strat next time, but we'll uh, stick with this one for the time being. All right, tanks know what they're doing with ads. Mandalore, that was good. GCD doing the main platform. Pavilion doing the right one. Mages doing the sheep. I believe we are good. Go ahead, mana up, get buffs out, and I think we're good to start fishing. So Wowhead says um, the trash packs make the water scalding. Yes. Yeah, that's what, we, that's what we're saying. Okay. Alright, we'll uh, we'll harrow on aggro too, so. You think speedruns are gonna leave the fishes in the water? Mm. I bet they put trash requirements on this place. But they put trash requirements on everything, honestly. Hey, just a heads up, we don't have any soul stones out, we're all on CD. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make this the last one of the night. This is uh Okay, get ready. Took a bite out of pavilion. God damn it. Yeah, you got knocked out of Ryan. Well, I'll take a battle race. I guess pavilion and GC try and fight for a second. Hero. Uh, I should hear it already. But yeah. Beware. All right. Let's go and counterclockwise. Fish right, spread out, do the platforms. Shit, 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 shit. Ooh. Oh, I think that guardian just teleported to the platform. I don't know if I like you guys on the platforms, but figure it out. Yeah, I think if you snatch threat, they're going to teleport. I somehow got shot from another area. And its I didn't hit it, so there's no way I would have had threat. That's probably small to shot. Yeah, it looks like they're just shooting. Dude, that range is not split shit. Attach. It's coming up, he's going to spout. Beware. And finish the ones on Mandalore's platform too. The 
So I think someone gave me water walking. Do not give people water walking. Oh yeah, so if you're uh, the ambushers, if you're not in melee range of them, they just start shooting people. They shoot like all the way across the map. So that's they seem to be shooting people even if you are. <laughs> Uh, she's she's focusing me right, right now. now, let's see. She was like shooting arrows like out of her back. Yeah, I watched it while Mandalore was taking off. So, let's see, as soon as I move yeah, away. She's shooting out of the back. Beware. This coil thing, like this coil thing, Ambusher is shooting people even while I'm just tanking it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, they seem to do it more when they're not in melee range. Yeah, like this one hasn't shot anybody. So far. It's probably their ability spread shot. Yeah, so we might need to, instead of sh double sheeping one platform, we might need to do one sheep each on each platform so that they're, uh, that the tank on the platform can always be in melee range. Um, I do think we're gonna need ranged not standing on platforms because like then you guys you guys won't be able to hit ads on the other platforms like, you're not going to risk the water to do it so we could on the world platform at least we could hit the one other platform the you one that was closer one, but you but like mandalores is so far away like you if you're on either of these two on the south side you can't hit the north one we're done so, right think, yeah let's Let's call it for here. I think. Yep. The goal I... here is learning, and we learned a lot. So nice, nice job on high dress, everybody. That was. I think I think we're gonna have to take a good look at that for for live, just like the balance of healers and DPS, and because I think the healing requirement's real, right? Um, yeah, we'll likely. I mean, we'll we'll see what they post for like schedule and dates and things like that. We will, if we've got time, we'll very likely be back. I'd rather do like more shorter nights than like a longer night like this, but this I mean, I had a blast. I'm glad I'm glad to be doing new content. I don't know about you guys. New new old content. Are we gonna do a test with like our live gear values? Because we're probably not gonna have this much DPS. You know, like so Hydros, like I don't know if you guys feel this way. Like so if Hydros had been a scramble, I'd say maybe. Um, but like Hydros did not feel at all like a no. DPS problem, right? Like we were, I got what like, we were miles ahead. Of um, yeah, like, I mean, maybe, like maybe we saved the transition, but like I don't know. We could have got, we probably could have gone another two transitions with how clean that was going, and it wouldn't really have made a difference. Mm -hmm. but, a you know, if we like, if we come back here and we get a boss, and it's like we're like barely scraping by and like, you know, we're just getting it before healers are like running out of mana and like it's like well shit we we might be quote unquote over nearing it then then maybe we take a look at it but i think for the moment i would rather get deeper into the fights see more learn more get people more experience because honestly like the biggest thing you're gonna get out of this is like the comfort level with each of the fights and like Nothing ups DPS like just being like comfortable and like knowing the timings and where to stand and what's going to happen. So, yeah, historically, for anybody who hasn't done like PTR testing content like this, you over gear it so you learn the mechanics, and then if you have time, then you put your normal gear back on so then you're basically training for life. Because otherwise, you're just like, let's say, because Pavilion's tank isn't as geared as it is right now, we'd probably still be wiping on Hydros, which is a complete waste of our time. Well, now we know, like, we know we have to crack the shit out of the yeah. NR and Frost gear. We're like, oh, maybe we can skimp on it. Like, nope. And it looks like, I think... I'm thinking for the Pally tank, probably 200 unbuffed. Might be the play, like, maybe 25 more in each slot. Or like, one more piece of each? Yeah. Um, does it work out that a uh, resistance flask is better than a uh, fortitude? He was using spell damage like that. Shell. Yeah. Yeah, I can probably back off a little bit. Uh, the only actually the only thing that was getting melee after, besides the uh, third attempt, which was a wipe caused by ads, 
was the melee, so I just need to focus. Like, Mark a Skull, the melee can focus that one. Because I think Star and Knock were just getting bashed by one of them. Alright, well, again, that was a blast, guys. Thank you, everybody, for coming. This is like... I mean... This is what we signed up for. This is like real, real rating, so... Do this one. <laughs> fucking <Oops>. cloppy. <laughs> you fucking baited him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of surprised he fell through the elevator, though. It's kind of. Oh, did guy. he fall all the way down? I thought he like took a summon or something. Like a porter. No, he, he fell right through. I think your bop let let you land on it. I think. Because the bop was meant for him, and I was actually when I cast, I was like, I'm not gonna have the GCD for my own shield. Some say he's still falling. It's like that Loki meme. Oh, he before. was uh, he was waiting for the he left the raid, so he timed out and got pointed out. Uh, I've been falling for thirty minutes. 